Sergeant Jesse Nathan Alleganga, Chief Hospital Corpsman Matthew J. Bourgeois, Incident Seal Jerry Buck Pope, Master Sergeant Sean E. Simmons, Specialist Robert A. Wise, First Sergeant Alan Gifford, Lance Corporal Daniel B. Chairs, Corporal Julian M. Woodall, Private First Class Anthony W. Simmons, Private First Class Brandon M. King. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the unveiling of the Wall of Remembrance. I personally want to thank all the families that are represented here today. Uh, we honor you and your son's sacrifice and what has been given back to our community from that sacrifice. We salute and thank the families for having allowed these boys who grew into men, who served this country, and who went out and fought for this nation so that our freedoms and the freedoms of others could be realized. It has been a very hard, a very long journey that I've been told by mothers before me that is forever. So we're doing everything we can as a family with having the Brandon M. King Scholarship Fund at TCC to keep his memory alive. And then of course with Leon County School doing this, this is amazing. This is so amazing. We're very, very proud and happy. Sometimes I tend to get a little emotional when talking about my Marines. The young man that we honor here today confirmed what I learned a long time ago. Old men declare war. Young men have to fight them. Well, it means to me uh, uh, that a grateful community is aware of the sacrifices that these young men and their families have made. And it's just a way of saying that we know we cannot bring your child back. We know that we can't do that, but we can let you know that we remember and we will not forget them. So um, this is a special occasion, not just for the parents and for the families, but for those of us here in the county that have something to do with these young men before they even got into the service. So today is special in, mem in memory and uh, remembering those boys that went off to war and, and gave their full measure. Julian was uh, a very kind person and very understanding and very compassionate. And uh, he's taught me so much and he's like my, the biggest teacher in my life. We have 10 individuals that are on this wall and I believe they really tell the story of where our country's been over the last 15 or so years. Uh, one individual uh, died in service to our country in Kenya when the first Osama bin Laden bombing up until the last one here in 2008. You can see uh, the history of our country and how it's impacted everyone within our community. So for our school district, this community, to recognize these brave young men in this way is not only a fitting tribute, but it is a tribute that we should remember every day. Think about it, when we do this, it's not because it's a protocol to do it for a show, but it's because we're obligated to do it as our fellow comrades in arms. So it means a lot to do this and recognize the individuals this day so that their life and ultimate sacrifice is not in vain. And the real meaning of what these young men and their families gave up really came home to all of us. And I don't think there's a dry eye in the, in the place. And that is the kind of thing that brings us together as a community, brings us together as a state and a nation, to know that what, we, what these young men fought for, what they volunteered for, what they went, and they, they also wanted to protect their buddies next to them, but by the same token, they wanted to protect these United States and the Constitution that we all fight for. We are grateful today as we memorialize these young men and say to the families, we can never compensate for your loss. We can only remember them with honor and thank you for what you did to contribute to their lives. At this time on this memorial event, we again pay honor to a group of young men and women who will always have a special place in our hearts. And we ask God to continuing comfort to the family members who still suffer from their loss. 
My prayer to God is that he will continue to bless America, our home, our home sweet home. Thank you.